Minecraft can be so boring sometimes. What to build? Guess we'll start with this. and I'm doing another, well finally, I'm doing another Minecraft Mod Showcase! Yeah. And this mod is called Traincraft. I, again, I'm on a different mod pack because I can't really install the mods, so I just got a mod pack which automatically installs them for me. And if you can see, I have all the trains. Oh, where are they? They're up here. There, you see all the... Yeah, it's quite a lot of stuff. And if you saw the little short bar made with this one block and then yeah, the boring bar and then building that over there. And this is single player, I did build all of this. In creative. I couldn't have done it in survival otherwise. Well it's a super flat world and there's barely any ores. Like if you can see I just I just like dig down with like nothing. Besides coal. So it would have been very hard, and I don't think the odds would have ge generated in this world, so I don't think I would have even been able to do this in survival. And there's some ruby from a different mod. So, this was my makeshift train station called Runesworth Station. Um, this for some reason the trains glitched out but we're gonna go head over to the mod showcase area and I will just be traveling in my train the trains are very awesome there we go let's go pretend there's train noises Oh, I'll just make some. As you can see over there, my fail train noises. And there we go. For some reason the train is still moving a bit. Yep. <laughs> I can't fix that. But if you can see the train model is very good. For this anyway. Here's the passenger carts, you can actually sit in them. So if uh, I guess if you're playing on a multiplayer server with this mod, it would just be awesome. You could like take your friends to places on the server, it would just be awesome can actually, well, I think three people can get in here, one, two, three, oh, three, you can't go through the door, but, ooh, oh, that's one of those, and then you can go through here, to that, and if you can see I've got a sign here saying end of rail, caution, slow down, injury possible, oh, yeah, is that, what is that, 
must be a light or something, I don't know. Oh, me. And so, just over here is something. I'll be like there. Just saying, I noticed that this village and this volcano from another mod looks a bit like Pompeii. Mount Vesuvius, Pompeii. And a little building that's trapped under the dust and the rubble. Still go inside it, but well, there's actually two buildings. Yeah, it's quite dark in here. I want to get out. It's really... Yes, yeah, so it looks a bit like Pompeii. Yeah, just something I found. And um, the crafting recipes, I couldn't really seem to find them, so I kind of just built all of this, which took about an hour. For nothing, because I kept having to find blocks, and plus I am building in a volcano, so it's lava everywhere. Yeah. It was really annoying. But at least I got like, to keep this, like in case I need to remember a wrapping recipe. Because I can just put the things in the item frames. So yeah, and if you're wondering what these blocks are, they're um, inverted lamps from an, from industrial craft or build craft or whatever. I don't know. It's from another mod. So I basically built all of that for nothing. And here is the mod. Uh, I'll show that later. Zeppelin. Don't know why they would have added added it, but it's a Zeppelin nonetheless. So these are some of the trains. Some of them are steam, locomotives, diesel, and electric, or in other words, high speed. So I had to cut that. Um, just I had to go get something from my house. Well, downstairs in my house. This is one of the trains. It's a locomotive. Uh, you need it's a steam one. So you need to add water and coal to get it going. If you can see in the corner, it says the state of it, which is coal, and the speed when it's moving. Uh, if you can see, you can pull and put it off and break. So in case you want to stop it in time, uh, you put the coal here, the water here, and the water buckets would get stored here. Well, the, just the normal buckets will get stored here, so you do get your buckets back. And you would see the water meter fill up. And therefore, you'll be able to travel in the locomotives. This one, I think, is another steam one. Yeah, it's another one. The exact same, but with a um, smaller model than this one. The hell? Okay. Just basically a smaller version of that one, but blue. And less detail. This one, which I find is really awesome little plow thing right there. Um, this one I think is another steam one. Yeah you can tell by this. Big space to sit. Quite a few windows. You can see the volcano over there in the distance. Ah, I wanted to try to. You can see again the water um, here and yeah just the same as before. And the name of it, it looks like useful 98. And this one, another steam one. Again, pretty cool models. This one, we're getting into the high speeds. So this one is a... I don't know how to really power these ones. If I knew how to power them, that would be awesome. But I can't really power it, and I don't know how. Yes, see, it's a high speed. Hang on, let me check. Is there any like fuel? I have no clue. Maybe a fuel fan? Maybe? Maybe not in there. Whatever. Put all this stuff in there. Save the wall bucket. So that's the high speed one again. Pretty cool model. Same with this one, just a smaller version. Version and blue. See, it's um, another high speed one. Now, this one is the track builder. Basically, you can put it in a mine. This is what this spinning thing is. It's basically like a drill. It'll dig out an area, it'll, 
if you give it torture, I think it'll automatically place torches for you as well. If you give it tracks, it'll put tracks um, below it so it can keep going. You can see if you can make it remove tracks or follow tracks. One block under, two blocks under, so as if like walking space for a bike cap. And then you can put the tracks in here. I mean, in here. I don't know what these are for. Uh, I guess you can stall call. And basically, you get a huge um, inventory. Basically, like this one, but the exact, well, it's the exact same. Just another one. Uh, this one, I think, is uh, these are the diesel ones now. You can see. Yeah, it's a GP40. It's a diesel, I think. This one, I think, is a diesel. Just getting it. Yeah, definitely a diesel. And uh, it's called Chemi 3. This one, yeah, I think it's another diesel. Yeah, it's another diesel, GP40. Very cool model. Very detailed as well. Oh no, I'm going back. Uh, that's the Chemi. Uh, this one, I'm def this is definitely a diesel. The Shunter. This one is, I'm not sure about this one, electric maybe? Yeah, this is electric, the EU07. Uh, this one I'm guessing is a steam. This is a steam, the BR80. This one, this is my favourite one, I, this is just like one of the best ones for me. Uh, yes, this is a definitely a steam. This is the BR01. Similar names. Steam one, the small steam lo locomotive, tiny bit smaller than that one over there. Well, I think nah, it's the exact same actually. Yeah, it's the exact same, but blue version. It's from the US. This one is another steam. I have no idea what this one is. The cheer pan of yeah, another steam one. Very tall chimney for a little for a little small steam train. This one is a Chemi three. What? This is just this, the yeah, same. The very exact same. And it's a diesel one. Oh, uh, yeah, these are the same ones. You can see Chemi 3 again. Basically a smaller version. But endless detail. This one I'm guessing is a diesel. Yes, it's a diesel. SD70. Which is a cool orange one. This one I'm guessing is a diesel. Yes, the SD40. Again. What's this one? Ah, oh, just did that. This one's the one I was driving around in. Well, yeah, I guess. This is the one that I was traveling in, which is a steam, I'm guessing. Yes, it's a steam. A USS R 4 5 0. I mean, no. So, that's most of the trains. They kind of disappear if you go really, really far away from them. I don't know why, but probably just doesn't load them in. And this one, this is the Zeppelin. Basically, you move with this. You press R to go in the inventory. I've just filled it up with arrows for some reason. And you can see the coals burning slowly here. You just put the coin. You press X to ascend. I mean Z. Yeah. Oh God, pressing loads of buttons. And you then, well, I don't know how it happened, but now I can kind of control it. Um, just holding X and flying it, really. It's quite simple. It's very, very smooth. Looks nice in F5 mode. Hello. And that's the Zeppelin. Should we see if I can land? No, I can't land. No, don't land on the track. Okay, I'll try and last this thing. Come on, land. No, 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 no! It's gone out of control. Come on, I'm so I did. Come on, I'm in the water. I don't go towards the treads. Ah! Uh -huh. 
let's just say I landed it. <laughs> Quickly get out before I kill someone. Oh, what the? Okay, if a train goes by, it's probably going to get mushed and mushed and smashed in this. Unless it just speeds past it and breaks it. But yeah, that's the train mod. A very detailed train mod. One of the only ones I've seen with trains in. Well, mod with trains in. The models are just extremely detailed. Very nice models. Um, I, w I could show you the craft crafting recipes, but I don't really know them, and I don't even think there is a crafting recipe, because if I go in here, too many items. If I just go, find, say, a locomotive. Just put local. See locomotive, none of them have crafting recipes. You could probably find them on the the mod page, which I might do, put in the description. But other than that, I do not know the recipes. So anyway, this is the trade mod, and I will see you later. Peace out.